Hello everybody, Frankie Day back again on YouTube. Here I have a kit that I'd like to share with you that I'm going to build on Speedy 197's Mark's Cold War 1950 group build, all jet aircraft. This is probably one of the first aircraft that, that was introduced in, during the Cold War. It came out uh, built by Lockheed. It's a Lockheed F-94C Starfire in 148 scale. It's an old Lindbergh kit. And uh, this model is brings me back years ago when I was, I was about 14, 15 years old when I first got one of these. I remember they cost about 79 cents. Not anymore, but uh, I bought this about, oh, I don't know, about two months ago. I got it at the hobby shop down there. I got it, I think I paid neighborhood about ten dollars for it and uh, a far cry from 79 cents but it's gonna make an interesting subject for the group build um, here I like to present the kit to you guys this is the Lindbergh F-94C Starfire this aircraft came out right after the P-80. It entered service in 1949, although it was on the drawing board as late as 1945, but actually wasn't uh, introduced into the United States Air Force until 1949, and by that time that was probably when the Cold War got started. Uh, the model itself is uh, prehistoric. And um, turn, and it needs a lot of attention to it. I'm going to cover this one with tin foil, with aluminum foil. Excuse me, folks. So this is going to all be covered with aluminum foil. It's going to be painted just like the box right here. It makes a it's a very good interesting kit, and we'll make a little review on it right here. Uh, the instructions are. Very basic and very elementary, but for a kit that's that's 63 years old, that's uh, 58 years old, it's been around. And uh, here's the instructions to it. Get a little close to this webcam right here. Got to get that camera on, guys. Uh, I was supposed to have it two days ago, but it didn't work out too good, so. Just stay tuned, and I'll have a, a better camera system here, fellas. I know I've been saying this for a while, but good things comes those that wait, and I'm still waiting. And uh, it tells you it's all bilingual, and just like all the instructions nowadays, nothing but symbols and everything. It tells you how it's assembled, and also the paint schedule that's on it. Not very many parts on this kit. There's a fuselage construction, as you can see, not much for the, not much in there. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work to detail uh, the, the interior of that, so i got to ponder on that how I'm going to attack this kit. I can either build straight out of the box as is, or I can add to it. So I'll probably be doing both. And the complete assembly over here with the application of the decals was right there. It makes an interesting kit, guys. Interesting thing for the Cold War. It don't get any colder than that than this old bird. And um, it's going to be interesting to build, and uh, I'll make it started on that probably tomorrow. I've got a couple more I got to be building right now, and so the albatross will be this. And I got a P-51 that I'm doing in aluminum foil, too, using metal trap. Um, this is spray adhesive I use. I, even, I normally use thinned out contact cement to glue my foil to the plastic, but I'm going to office max a couple of times, uh, blowing up some card models I, that I've got. Uh, there's some spray on the adhesive I get, so that works pretty good, too. And it's going to be all done paneling like the real aircraft. And it's going to have the day glow colors on it. 
It's going to be an interesting build. And the Cold War had some very, uh, very, very interesting aircraft they had for the day. And uh, I can remember it was growing up back in the 1950s. They had a lot of them out there flying around. 102s, 104s, F-89 Scorpions. F-94 F Sea Star Fighters, F-101s. Uh, they had a lot out there that were, uh, that were brought in during that time. But Anyway, this makes a, a very interesting build. Again, folks, it's a, it's a very old, old, old kit. And uh, I'm kind of glad it's still, still around. And it sure brings back a lot of memories to me because when I was a boy growing up, they don't have too many kits back in those days. The only ones they had out there that I know of in, in ejection plastic was Monogram, Ravel, and Lindbergh. They were the, uh, the forerunners of, um, of ejection molded plastic airplane kits. And I had a few more out there too, though. But most of them were uh, all wood. But they... Uh, we were starting to cut the mustard out in the 1950s with all these plastic kits. Uh, Paul Lindbergh, he was really uh, putting them out. And uh, Monogram, they were, they were slow, but they were getting better. I mean, back in 1957, they had the Albatross SA-16B. And they had the T-28 Trojan back in the 1950s. Those were all Cold War kits that came out back then. And... Uh, we also had they had the monogram had a super constellation in one one forty four scale. Uh, Ravel outranked monogram by miles. They had they produced a lot of kits that they had. They had the old Voodoo, the F one F one hundred one Voodoo. They had. I remember having one of those, and I got a few of those in my stash too. So anyway, I'm paying attention to go ahead and. Start building his F-94C Starfire. He'd be a he'll make a good, good companion with the rest of you fellows out there with your group bill going on. So I won't be able to post anything on to maybe Friday on this. I may probably start out tomorrow while my albatross is drying. But uh, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do I'm going to go in and uh, see if I can build up some cockpit in this thing here and make it. Uh, a little better than what it is, and uh, open up the wheel wells and box them in using cheap styrene. There's no wheel wells. The kit is typical 1950s. All it is just your, land, your undercarriage glues in a couple of holes into your wings and your forward fuselage for your nose wheel. That's it. But it look a lot better if I go ahead and just box in the uh, landing gear, landing gear wells and such. This is a colorful airplane. I, I like those day glow orange wing tips they got on it. So, uh, again, like on this, I got to do like I do my albatross. So I got to put a base white color on for applying the day glow colors or the orange or red color, whatever it is. It's a very beautiful looking airplane. It's, it's very clean, elementary, a dinosaur. And uh, I don't think it has any stores to it, any, any rockets or, or, or bombs or auxiliary fuel tanks. So it just the aircraft itself in general. But it'll make a nice uh, addition to rescue fellas. Anyway, fellas, that's about it right there on, on Mark's uh, 1950s group build introduction so that's my my kid I'll be doing and I'll be checking the rest of you fellows out there so you guys are doing I like that F-86 right there that looks real nice that's a that makes a beautiful looking airplane the old paper tiger the F-O I like the uh, F-100 Super Saber I got one of those too it's in my stash somewhere 
But uh, anyway, folks, that'll be it for the uh, heads up on the group build, on Speedy's group build. So evidently, uh, I'll get started on this by tomorrow sometime. And uh, get to her. So I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. And, uh, and your comments are, are more welcome than anything in the world. And I'll do my Sonny's best to give you the reply back to you on the fly. I haven't been on YouTube too much. I've been too much busy cutting grass and stuff around the house. So, right now, this is not the first time I really actually, actually had some time to work on my models. I've been on my albatross pretty much all day today. But tomorrow, I'll take a crack at this one and see, I can, see how far I can go. I'll, I'll, post a, I'll post a YouTube presentation on it. So anyway, fellas, uh, I'd like to thank everybody out there for tuning in. I'd like to thank everybody out there for your comments. And uh, enjoy your modeling. Happy modeling. And build them slow. They come out right every time. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody out there again. Thank God bless. And thank you, everybody. Bye, fellas.